This is part two of the book review over Quiet, written by Susan Cain. As reviewed in part one, this book is about the power of being an introvert in a society that highly elevates the extrovert. During this portion of the book review, we will cover two main topics. Four, the biology of extroversion and introversion. Five, the role of free will. Four, the biology of extroversion and introversion. In 1989, Jerome Kagan began one of the most important studies of personality ever conducted. He exposed children to a set of stimuli like balloons popping, certain smells, or new voices. It was soon discovered that children who were highly sensitive to the stimuli tended to be introverted in adulthood, and those that reacted indifferently to stimuli grew to be extroverts. Kagan also found there was one region of the brain called the amygdala that helps people determine threats. Most introverts have amygdalas that are more excitable and are more sensitive to change, and that the sensitivity affected how they interacted with the world. They tended to be more cautious and less inclined to participate in risky ventures. Extroverts, however, tended to be more reward sensitive due to active dopamine pathways. This makes them more likely to take risks in order to receive rewards, such as money, praise, or power. Interestingly enough, a balance of introverts and extroverts is needed in an entity for it to move forward, but an imbalance can be harmful. Many have theorized that the 2008 Wall Street crash may have occurred because too many risk-taking extroverts were in power. Now, in both education and business, leaders are working to make sure all personalities are valued. Five, the role of free will. To explain free will, let me share a story about an introverted professor. Ryan Little is a psychology professor at Harvard University. Professor Little is adored by his students. He regularly tells jokes and breaks into song during lectures. Little is also somewhat reclusive. He prefers to spend his time alone, and if socializing, regularly needs breaks to be by himself. How can Professor Little have two personalities? The answer lies in the role of free will. We are born with certain personality traits like introversion, but we can act out of character when it is in service of a core personal project. This means introverts are capable of acting like extroverts if they are doing something they love. Ultimately, if you force yourself to act extroverted because you think it is required for success, you're doomed to feel badly about yourself. If instead you think, I'm going to be extroverted to advance a specific project I care about, you will feel inspired. Mustangs, just remember to be true to yourself, to actualize your dreams, and to know your worth, and all will be well.